bumpy ride. A little oh, bit, yeah. yeah. Maybe not quite as bumpy as the Hurricane Hunters, but still. Yeah, you yeah. get one airplane in the wake of another airplane, you get jittered around just Oof. a little bit. Oof. Yeah, I there. wouldn't want to do it, but it looks cool to watch. Hey, more credit to those guys for doing it. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's happening out there so far this morning. We're going to start with a look at the tropics with a little disturbance that's way out there in the Atlantic Ocean. Hasn't even made its way towards the Caribbean just yet. And the National Hurricane Center estimates this thing has only a 20% chance of actually developing into even a tropical depression as it crosses over the Antilles and heads into the Caribbean. We'll keep an eye on it, but it looks like the conditions are going to be even more unfavorable for development once it does actually make its way into the Caribbean. Calm conditions out there so far this morning. It's just very warm. 74 degrees the temperature right now in Chapel Hill from Keenan Memorial Stadium. Right now on campus at NC State, yeah, you're a degree cooler, 73, but that's still above average even for an August morning. And temperatures everywhere, almost everywhere, are running in the low to mid 70s. 68 degrees in Roxborough, you're the cool spot, but you started off in the low 60s the past couple mornings, so you're substantially warmer too. 77 degrees right now in Fayetteville and Pinehurst. Those are the warm locations, and there is lots of humidity out there. That'll be the fuel for a slightly better chance of spotty thunderstorms later on today. But before those develop, we're going to heat up. Temperatures will be just a couple degrees warmer in the triangle by 8 o'clock this morning. Warm, muggy, hot already by noon with highs temperatures close to 90 degrees. Highs will make it up into the low 90s by mid-afternoon with a couple isolated storms starting to pop up by mid-afternoon, more likely by late afternoon into early evening. But we're still talking about lower than a 50-50 chance of those spotty showers and storms actually paying you a visit. So it just looks like it's going to be warm and muggy for the start of high school football. The CBS 17 sports team is going to be live out at Clayton Garner. This evening, kickoff at 7 o'clock, it's going to be warm, 87 degrees, chance of a spotty storm. I don't think you need to bring the poncho or anything like that. Just be prepared for the possibility. little breeze out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. A degree or two warmer farther south today, low to mid-90s towards Fayetteville, the Sand Hills, and the southern coastal plain, and right around 90 degrees as you head northward along I-95, right around 90 for southern Virginia and into the Piedmont as well. An unseasonably hot day even for the middle of August. But again, not much of a storm chance, just a slightly better chance than what we saw yesterday. Future cast shows a few of those radar freckles showing up by mid-afternoon, but they fade off the map pretty quickly as we head towards this evening and into tonight. We'll do the whole thing over again tomorrow, but with a better chance of scattered showers and storms as a disturbance out to our west makes its way towards us, and that's going to enhance our storm chances, not right away, but by mid-afternoon we start to see some development, and late afternoon or early evening will bring us better than a 50-50 chance of one of those storms actually paying you a visit. Temperatures will reach up to around 90 degrees before that storm chance develops. Still upper 80s on Sunday with still a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. And we'll keep that going through much of next week. Kind of up and down storm chances, which means up and down temperatures, but theme unsettled, lots of heat, lots yeah. of humidity. Yeah, it was very hot yesterday, but even yeah. though the weekend forecast isn't perfect, I'm just excited it's the weekend. It is, and it's not going to be a washout. Exactly, it will be just fine. <laughs> Traffic, though, we have a problem this morning already. Great. It's been a very 